Hello beautiful souls, I hope you all are doing well. I'm Anita Svetlana, welcome to your reading. So today I'll be doing the weekly reading for this week and as usual we have three groups. Group 1, Group 2 and Group 3. Group 1 is, <coughs> sorry, is going to be this Amethyst Angel. Group 2 is going to be this Howlite Angel. And this is going to be Group 3. And this is a Clear Quartz Angel. So go ahead, close your eyes and think about all the guidance that you require for your current situation for this week. And choose a crystal or an angel or the group that you're most drawn to. Remember that this is a general collective reading, so please pick up messages that you resonate to. Don't forget to like, comment, share and consider subscribing as well. I mentioned the timestamps in the description, so all you need to do is uh, choose the crystal or the group, go to the description. This is, there's a timestamp mentioned against each group. If you click on the timestamp, that will take you directly to your reading, alright? Welcome group one and this is for all those who resonated with this amethyst angel. Eight of spring. So uh, currently you are doing too many things and you know you must be going through a lot of stress because you know there's a lot happening at the same time uh, and because you are multitasking also and you want to be everywhere and you want to do everything okay and you are successfully multitasking uh, you will have sudden uh, changes that will come uh, will that will happen this week and uh, sudden event or changes that that is going to happen this week all right seven of winter You also currently, because you're doing too many things, you're not seeing things clearly. You are running away from the truth. You're not facing the truth. And you have created this illusion for yourself. You need to get out of that illusion. And, and you do have other choices. You do have other choices. It's not that, you know, that's the only choice that is left for you. So you do have other choices. So look at the other choices and, and use... Uh, Use logic, think, get yourself organized and think what is it that you would like to do. Six of summer. So uh, you might visit the past this, the, this week where, you know, you will get uh, nostalgic uh, about things that have happened in the past or uh, you will meet someone from your past for people uh, who are in a relationship and have had a breakup or a no contact situation there are uh, chances of reconciliation as well or you know your person from the past getting in touch with you okay uh, you might uh, visit your childhood memories or your inner child or you will meet somebody who is from your past and uh, uh, this, in case this is a romantic situation, you know that you can trust this person. Okay? Your angel messages are you need to trust your wisdom and have faith in your psychic uh, impression. So, trust your intuition. Your intuition is very strong. You need to hone your psychic ability and see through illusion. And I just said that you are in this bubble you need to get out of that illusion okay so you need to see through the illusion that you you have created for yourself seek and you will find be a wise one and be fair in all situations because that will help you resolve your conflict all right so that's all I have for you, group one. I hope you resonated to this reading and this messages. And I will see you next time for your next reading. Thank you. 
Welcome group 2 and this is for all those who resonated with this Howlite Angel. Strength. So all that you need is all within you, the grace and the strength that you need to overcome uh, the challenges that you're going through or any obstacles that you're facing currently. You have the strength. It is, it is within you. Uh, be kind to yourself. Be kind and forgiving to yourself. Be kind and forgiving to others as well. And it is time for you to embrace yourself just the way you are. You are an amazing, wonderful being. You, you have that strength within you. So, it's time to give yourself some self-love. And embrace yourself. Embrace the strength that you have. You have the courage to take whatever it takes to, to go through this situation. Four of Springs. Yeah. So uh, be grateful because you will have uh, a reason to celebrate. So you will uh, be having celebrations this week. And, uh, you know, in your relationships, you uh, in case you are in a relationship or if you're, you're single uh, or if you're dating someone, you will find deep, meaningful relationship. You'll find that peace and happiness uh, in your relationship and contentment in your personal life. Princess of Autumn, uh, you will receive good news about your career. Some of you might even get news about your promotion. Uh, or in case you are planning for higher studies, you might receive a scholarship as well. Uh, you just need to push yourself a little bit to get going and reach there. All right. And it's time for you to, you know, chase your dreams. Go after your dreams. Don't give up. You do have, you know, a lot of things on the horizon which is going to expand. So you just need to uh, go, move forward. I did talk about, you know, you need to accept yourself and love yourself. Here, love yourself unconditionally. Ask for help if you need help, okay? You don't have to do everything alone. <coughs> It all begins with you. So love yourself unconditionally. Uh, some of you in this group must be working with animals or might be having pets at home. So honor animals and communicate with, with the different uh, species. It is time for you to fly. Listen to your intuition. So like I said, do something that will expand your horizon and you do have you know things in in the horizon it's time to chase your dreams and it's time for you to to fly and shine all right so that's all i have for you group two i hope you resonated with this reading and this messages and i will see you next time for your next reading thank you welcome group three and this is for all those who resonated with this clear quartz angel King of Summer. So, uh, uh, in case you are in a relationship, you do have a partner in life, you know, whom you can trust and who, uh, you know, gives you excellent advice. Uh, singles, you might even have chances of, uh, uh, you know, rekindling of a relationship or a, a man entering your life this week four of springs <laughs> you need to be uh, grateful for everything that you have and you will have reasons to celebrate this week and uh, 
some of you might take your relationship to the next level or you know uh, get committed uh, in a relationship and uh, you will feel a deep peace of uh, you know uh, a deep feeling of peace and happiness in your relationship and contentment in life so you will be very content this week six of summers some of you might uh, go down the memory lane and think about your past memories uh, or even uh, meet people you know might be uh, from your school days or from your past you know and and you might visit your old memories and you will think uh, you will see things in a different light and you will see events uh, you know in a, in a different light uh, rather than how they actually occurred so you uh, it also uh, for some of you all uh, it also means uh, coming back of an ex or meeting your ex or uh, chances of you having a reconciliation with your ex-partner what you need to do what your angels are telling you to do this week is you need to love yourself unconditionally you need to ask for help in case you need any help You need to give with an open heart and be generous, okay? And accept the Christ light and act with wisdom and loving compassion. So currently you are not seeing things clearly and you know, I hope uh, this uh, gives you some clarity and you know that you have other choices as well. Uh, learn to accept the truth. There's no point in running away from the truth. And uh, try and uh, seek, uh, try and get intellectual uh, solutions to your, uh, you know, uh, to your t challenges. And uh, be open, be open to receive all the abundance that you're going to receive. All right. So that's all I have for you, Group 3. I hope you resonated to this reading and this messages. And I will see you next time for your next reading. Thank you.